Hey everybody, my name's Tim Troyer. I am standing here talking to you in Sugar Creek Forge, a forge I started and work in with two of my really good friends who are great knife makers. And I want to talk to you today about a very special project we're doing for Hummingbird Music Studio. And they're coming up on 35 years in business. It's a music studio here in Sugar Creek. The owner, Rick Troyer, I've known him all my life. I don't know anyone who's taught more young people and others how to play and enjoy music. And so we're making a very special knife for Rick. It's going to contain some super cool stuff. And the it's uh, a fundraiser. All of the proceeds are going to go to help young people, children, who really want to take music lessons but simply can't afford to. So what's going to make this knife so cool is the stuff in this box. I talked to Rick and my vision for this knife is that we would put things into it that are really special and historic to Hummingbird Music Studio. So I'll just show you some things that we have to work with. I have uh, the neck board of an old guitar that has history with Rick. And Rick's been a backup singer and musician for very famous people in Nashville. And, and uh, so we also, we have some guitar strings that were sent to us. Uh, Stewie and Sonny French of the French family who are just becoming super popular on YouTube and are uh, loved by bluegrass and country fans everywhere. We have some of their guitar strings. We have some mandolin strings from Ricky Skaggs who is just one of the most famous bluegrass guys. And so we're finding a way to incorporate these strings into the steel of the knife. And then also I have strings that you know, have belonged to Rick from steel guitar, guitars, and, and you can see it just got this whole collection of stuff from Rick and then guitar strings from students of Rick's going back 35 years. So what's going to be awesome is all of the historicity of this stuff is going to go into the knife. So not only is it going to be beautiful, but it's going to have guitar strings in it that were played on the stage at the Grand Ole Opry by really famous people and strings by common, ordinary, some kids who've taken music lessons from Rick. And so we'll have this beautiful knife with the historicity of what it is. There's not going to be another one like it and it's going to be raffled and all the proceeds are going to do something super cool. Hi, I'm Rick Troyer. I am the owner of Hummingbird Music Studio. We've been in Sugar Creek for 35 years. I was blessed at an early age to be able to work kind of uh, uh, with a mentor, with, with a, uh, uh, a boss, if you will. You know, I had like two students. He asked if I wanted to help and kind of like uh, uh, on the job training, if you will. Uh, and so I had two students and in, in the off times I would help clerk the store or you know do uh, maintenance uh, and all that time I he was teaching me about the business and one of the things that he impressed upon me was you know your students are the bread and butter that's the the milk and honey of the, the business and I always remembered that and I always had a passion for that here we are all these years later, it's still the same. Our students are number one. So our main goal and our main uh, drive and our main calling, if you will, is that teaching, you know, to help our students be able to use that music in, in the way that they can use it and find that fulfillment in it. Okay, so starting out in the process of making this knife, we are going to have one of our really talented professional knife makers, Justin Steiner, lead us through the process of what it looks like to canister weld all of this cool stuff together. Hi, I'm Justin Steiner. I'm one of the knife makers here at Sugar Creek Forge. And today I'm going to show you how to make canister Damascus. So first off, we have our canister. We will be filling it with guitar strings and mandolin strings from the French family. Ricky Skaggs and some of Rick's students over the over the course of his career. We have meteorite, iron powder, 1084 steel, and whiteout. Uh, first, we're going to take the whiteout. We're going to coat the inside of this, this canister. That way, these materials don't forge weld to the canister. So once the coating dries, 
We will fill the canister with the strings, meteorite, iron powder, and 1084 powder. We will tamp it all down, and then we will weld the top on and get it ready to go into the fire. So next step is going to be putting it in the fire. So between Sugar Creek Forge, Tim Troyer, and Hummingbird Music Studio, myself and the staff, we want to raise funds to help in a mission. So whether it is for underprivileged for people who can't afford necessary lessons or an instrument, or whether it's a more lofty goal and doing it for cancer, or uh, I'm a big supporter of a local youth group called Young Life, which uh, is a mentoring program where they go into the schools and can interact with the high school. So I'm really about that. So I don't know that we've actually talked about what the financial proceeds will go to, but it's definitely going to be a benefit. It's going to be some mission field, something that we can pass on to someone else in, in uh, using the store platform and the forge platform to, to be able to offer that knife. Hi, I'm here with Jordan Chumney. He's a professional knife maker working with us here at Shirt Creek Forge. I've worked with him for almost three years, so the longest uh, you know, person that I've been working with at the Forge. And uh, Jordan's a very artistic person, great designer, and uh, we both love to design. I love to collaborate with him. He's going to take us through a little bit of the process in his mind of kind of how things get designed and where we're going in terms of profiling and the next step in the beautiful hummingbird knife. So we have... Uh not just a cool design, we have cool materials we're going to use. Obviously, uh, Justin made this really cool piece of Damascus steel. Um, this is kind of a variation of San Mai, where we have seven main layers, uh, three of which are 75 layer uh, Damascus that Justin made, and then uh, two of which are canister steel we made out of all the guitar strings and other cool heirloom materials. Um, so as we grind it away, you'll get to see really cool different layers start to reveal themselves. Um, one of the benefits of hollow grinding is it's going to give us a really cool effect when it comes to revealing the layers at a different rate. So uh, we're going to have a really cool guard made out of uh, stainless guitar slide. And behind that we're going to have uh, a cool spacer. We haven't decided on the material yet, but it'll be something neat. Uh, now that we have our knife design and our uh, steel all made, we have to get to the stock removal process. Um, to do that, we cut out a stencil uh, of our design and we're gonna literally put it on the steel and just uh, mask an area with the design and paint over top of it. It'll leave a nice negative of uh, what we wanna cut out and grind. Um, but before we do that, we have a big piece of steel and a much smaller piece of knife. So we're gonna chop off the excess and clean our surfaces so that the paint all sticks. So now that we have our uh, steel cut to the right length, we're going to go over to the surface grinder and clean off all this forge scale and give ourselves a nice clean surface.
All right, now our steel is nice and clean. Uh, it's at a consistent thickness. It's been surface ground to a nice uh, 60 grit. Uh, good surface for our paint to stick to for when we do our stencil. So uh, there's a lot of ways to do this. Today we're just going to take our stencil that we cut out of our blade, lay it right onto our steel, and then I'm gonna hold it down with magnets. Just enough so the spray paint doesn't blow it around. And if we're lucky, we have a really nice clean negative underneath. All right, now that we have our design transferred to our steel, we're gonna go ahead and start removing stock to get it down to this profile right to the line. Uh, to do that, we're gonna use a bandsaw and then some of our trusty grinders. All right, so now we have our knife all to the right dimensions and uh, profiled to a nice clean finish. We're gonna lay out some lines to uh, make it so that we have a nice clean, even grind before we heat treat. I'm so excited because we are done with the knife and ready for the big reveal today. We've been working over the past month like crazy, Justin and Jordan in the forge, and I uh, just finished up the sheep yesterday. We're ready for the big reveal. I am so excited to finally get to see this beautiful presentation knife that we've been working on for the last month or two months, whatever it's been. It seems like forever, but I am super stoked, man. I can't wait to see this. So Rick, I'm so excited to present this night to you. It's real labor of love and I've been your friend for a long time and just so tickled to be a part of your uh, celebration of 35 years. And I'm gonna let you open it. Oh wow. For the big reveal. Wow, I don't know <laughs> man. I am so excited. I'm super excited man. Oh wow. Wow. Unbelievable. It looks so magnificent better than I had imagined. Oh, wow. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, the hummingbird on the sheath. Unbelievable. I love it. Oh. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. Wow, unbelievable. How gorgeous. Beautiful Damascus steel and, and those layers, and it almost looks like, you know, it is art. I was gonna say it looks like art. No, it is art. It's just gorgeous. Wow, such detail. That is like the master's work, 
That's beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, Rick, so what we did is we took all of the mandolin strings, the guitar strings, mm. all those uh, strings from musical instruments, we put them in a canister and we welded them together solid, hammered it out, and then layered it with this steel. So those guitar strings, mandolin strings, are all through this knife in, in the steel of the knife. Wow. Um, this guard right here is a uh, slice of your steel guitar slide. Wow! And then we were really thinking, what kind of handle can we put on here that's going to be super special? So we bought a piece of bog oak. And so bog oak is a material, um, this, this has been carbon dated to 5,000 years old. So an oak tree fell into a bog and the water was either acid or alkaline, I forget which, enough that no bacteria could get in there. So it sunk to the bottom into the mud and lay there for thousands of years. Wow. And they pulled it up and it's permanently black because of all the mineral content in it. And so we just thought, you know, it's so cool. And uh, how, how cool to have a piece of, you know, cool history from you personally and from Hummingbird, but then also to have something extra special on the handle. Mm. Um, so that's uh, that's a little bit about what's in that knife, and I just love how it turned out. Oh, the Damascus it's... pattern is super, mm. and um, I designed this on paper first, and Jordan did a little bit of uh, adjusting. He, he's amazing to collaborate with, and it's so fun to see it go from a drawing on paper. To oh, so I, I don't know so how cool. that whole process works, <laughs> but I know the end result is amazing. I'm so thrilled. Thank you, my you friend. So that welcome, is man. Was, so beautiful. It was so much fun to make. Ah, uh, it's so, it's so gorgeous, and to know the history yeah. of of Hummingbird, 35 years, strings from students, yeah. uh, and strings from players and, and heroes are in there. That bar yeah. is just like iconic to me, <laughs> and to the store, and yeah. to know it's there, it's just, it's just so beautiful. That's it, and you know, I'm so tickled that uh, we were able to do that, collaborate with you, and it's going to such a great cause, and uh, I just think it's a great celebration. Oh, it is, and indeed, a perfect uh, symbol of the store's That's 35 right. years, and to go forward and allow that to uh, help in your mission sure. and in Young Life's mission yes. to, you know, further the cause, first of all, of the kingdom, yeah. and second of all, to encourage people. You know, and, and that's what we're that's about. Right. That's yeah. what we're about, right? Yeah. It's awesome. To be able to uh, partner with Tim and Sugar Creek Forge and see the incredible work he does and to know that in that workmanship is the history, you know, the strings, the nickel, because the strings are nickel, and to know that the strings from my heroes and my students and uh, throughout the you know process of teaching the music it's in that knife I'm, I'm just like blown away and 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 if you ever talk to Tim you know his excitement and his enthusiasm comes out like it does with me the passion of what we do is evident so I'm just honored really so we really hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing the reveal and uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon <laughs>